start with Tom Brewer. Trace, uh, Michigan State's going to be using you today. We're going to come at you differently than, than those guys have the last couple of games. We're going to do a lot of good decision making, but how much easier does it make it all when, when Trey and Tamar are contributing so much offensively, not only from three, but just drives and everything else? Yeah, it just, um, just opens up the floor really. Um, I thought I missed a few bunnies early, and uh, they were kind of sitting. But we were moving the ball around and they were hitting shots and then it kind of the second half and space the floor and allowed me to go one on one and I, I feel like there's not a person in the country that can honestly guard me. So um, it is what it is when we hit shots and everything's clicking. We're a great team and we're tough to beat. Rick? Yeah. You, you guys had lost three in a row and there was some grumbling and stuff. People were questioning this team. You've now beat Wisconsin, Illinois, and Michigan State by an average of 15 points. What's changed? Um, I just think that we finally got. Um, Acclimated to uh, the new the new unit that we had in, and um, obviously we're just um, we're just playing for each other, and um, that's the biggest thing for us. Um, like I said about JG, um, he didn't have a great game today, but when we came in, he stepped up, and um, that's what we got to do. Guys are starting to step up, and um, we just got to continue. And then race came back, so that's good. We're gonna try to get him in, and um, with X hopefully coming back um, here soon, um, we just gotta keep rolling, and guys have gotta keep stepping up. So, All right, thanks, Trace. Go ahead, Zach. Trey, we saw you kind of do some primary ball handler stuff last season when you guys were injured or out or whatever. Coach said he really jumps out both of you this summer to step up your ability to kind of bring the ball to the floor, get the team into the offense. You had a lot of that today. What has that sort of journey been like for you in terms of maybe not being an out and out point guard, but doing a lot of point guard type stuff? Yeah, um, I mean, just running that second unit this fall really helped me out um, to get me ready for the season. I mean, it was it was really hard going against Jalen and um, Xavier in the fall, and they made me a lot better um, be, being able to handle the ball and bring it up. So I think just the practice against each other and getting that experience in practice um, really helped out and um, showed today. Mike? Tomorrow, real quick, did you see what Leilani did at halftime? I did see that she uh, took the dub. Uh, <laughs> come back win. And it was really just because she was ready to get picked up. I think she was crying the whole time, but we'll, we'll take it. First competition ever, so um, she's undefeated. My, my, my real question is, um, you know, you, you went into this game, Michigan State's playing a lot of three-guard lineups. I, were you kind of being prepped that you might have an outside role in this game because of that? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. And obviously with the way that Trace is playing, we, knew we had to just stay ready, whether it's to be ready to shoot or drive. But, um, yeah, but, I mean, more so just being ready on the defensive end because we knew with them playing three guards, our three guards have to be able to um, make up for everything that they bring on both ends of the floor. So, you know, we, we were all definitely ready to go. Okay. Tamar, what's it like kind of playing in the ultra-competitive atmosphere against such a well-coached Tom Izzo team? Coach Woodson said that you guys knew that you had to bring a little extra energy today. I mean, it's, it's literally what we do it for. Like, all the work we put in um, as individuals and as a team up until this point, like, you know, that's, that's what you play college basketball for. We look forward to every game, but, you know, especially when, you know, we have a really good opponent coming in, everybody um, raises their level of play. Jeff? Trey, this is for you. Just wanted to get your thoughts on Trey's kind of big picture. You know, he ties Jeff News with an IU block record. Uh, back to back 30 point games. He's got 40 career double doubles now. What are we looking at when we're looking at him play as well? Um, I mean, I. It's a good question. I, I, it's it's pretty special. I mean, because just the improvement that he's made from last year, just taking the pressure um, and, and handling it so well. I think just. I mean, because we're, we're, our backs were against the wall early in the Big Ten season, he, he stayed composed. Um, and I know he was hurting, and he's battling through that, and I, now he's, he's finally kind of healthy, so it's, it's showing. So I think just him sticking with it, and I think just him being a willing passer, too, they can't, they're not doubling as much. So he's, he's being able to create so much more options for himself or others. So I think just, it's, it's, it's honestly just incredible just to watch him keep performing like this, and I'm, I'm glad he's on my team. Thanks, man. Todd. Tomorrow, uh, it seems like every Big Ten team has gone through the stretch that you guys have gone through, you know, a number of wins followed by a number of losses and vice versa. You guys can only control your own house, so how do you, you know, keep things going and avoid that trap that some of the other teams in the league have fallen into? 
I mean, for us, it's just about staying locked in, uh, solely focusing in on every opponent one at a time, and then just uh, sticking to what's working. Like, we can tell just from playing the game and then watching film uh, what's winning us these games and everything is starting on the defensive end. So, you know, just sticking to our habits, and like you said, controlling what we can control. Um, I feel like if we do what we do best, I mean, we'll live with the results. Jim? Trey, one of the things that's been talked about, especially during the losses, was the lack of fire with the team. And, and then, you know, you guys have won three straight, and the defense has come back. It's something that I saw today. It seemed like a lot more emotion out there, not just tenacity, but emotion. What has been the difference between the, the three game losing streak and the three game winning streak? What changed for you guys? Yeah, I think we kind of just looked at ourselves in the mirror and just, we, we knew what we had to do, and it was, it was play defense and play harder. I think just getting back to what we did last year, I, I, we were really good defensively last year, and we watched some of those games, and we, we saw some of that. But I think just, it's, I mean, obviously it's a new team, but we had to go back to our principles and what Coach Blitzen preaches, and that, that's that's defense, and we weren't doing that in those losses. And now now we're finally kind of coming together and, and playing harder on the defensive end, and it, it's leading to more offense since we're getting stops, so. Last question, Al. Trey, was there anyone on the team that, <clears throat> after that three-game losing streak, that kind of, took the reins and kind of said like, we got to make changes and what what were those conversations like when you guys kind of had to do some soul searching and, and figure things out as a team? Um, I mean, we all kind of just came together and no, nobody panicked. Um, cause there's, like I said, there was, there was no reason to panic because it's, it's a long Big Ten season and there's st still a lot of games left. So we can't get too high, we can't get too low. Um, we won three games in a row, we lost three games in a row, so we just got to stay even keel the whole time and, and know that if we got a lot more games to be played. And so we just got to take it one game at a time and keep, keep focusing on the task at hand. Thanks, guys.